As we rebound from this pandemic, it almost seems like Nashville's growth never stopped, not even for COVID. Yeah, Carrie, and there's always something new popping up. Now, one well-known local developer I spoke with says if you think things have changed over the past six or seven years, you ain't seen nothing yet. It is a city on the rise. That Rain. is an Embassy Suites hotel. Embassy Suites, yep. that's a big one. Over 600 keys. Tony Giratana remembers when people thought his ideas were too big and bold for Nashville. Everybody thought yeah. I had lost my mind, including my own team members. Yeah. Not anymore. The longtime developer now has a bird's eye view of the ever-changing downtown skyline from his 4,400 square foot penthouse apartment high atop 505 Church, one of his most recent achievements. He also has his eye to the future. So. This will be photovoltaic panels that generate energy that goes back into the building. How cool is that? Giratana recently announced plans for a 45-story luxury residential tower on the Korean Veteran Circle. That's in addition to two towers soon to rise on Church Street, not far from Amazon's new offices. Add to the mix other big-name companies coming here, including Facebook and Oracle, and he knows more will come. This is just the, um, the initial drop in, in the bucket, if you will. These companies draw a tremendous amount of other companies that service them, that are in their orbits. Those companies attract young, creative workers, people who want to work and live downtown. So what helped to start this Nashville boom? A Music City Center was one of those very pivotal events in Nashville's history. That Music City Center catapulted our hospitality industry to the envy of every other city in the country. And that's exactly what's happening, much to the dismay of many longtime residents who worry about traffic and congestion. But Giratana says rapid development in our urban core rather than outlying areas will actually help. If you're living, working, and playing downtown, you're not part of the problem, you're part of the solution. It's a solution Giratana and now developers from around the world obviously believe in. And if you think it's hard to keep track of the massive hotel, office, and condominium projects rising today, he says, just wait. What's coming, um, I think, is going to make what's happened um, the last 10 years uh, blush. The next 10 years are, is going to be more significant than the last 10 years in terms of, of transformation of Nashville, particularly downtown Nashville. Truly is remarkable. Of course, this is a pattern of growth we've been watching for decades, but it was 2013 when the New York Times compared Nashville to the likes of Portland, Austin, Dallas, and Las Vegas when they dubbed Music City, It City. And Rory, it's not just businesses. We are seeing a crazy residential housing market right now, too. Carrie, if you want a house in Nashville, you better be ready for battle. Check this out. This March, we saw more than 3,700 closings. That's a 38% increase just from January. And the median price for a residential home spiked about $23,000.